Moustache Baby Meets His Match by Bridget Hios. Baby Billy was born with a moustache. Usually, it was a good guy moustache, but occasionally it curled up at the ends into a, well, you know. Good moustache or bad, Billy's family loved him. Then, one day, baby Javier came to town. He was new and had a lot to learn. So Billy decided to show him a thing or two. Like how he was the sharpest shooter in the West and how he could work on the railroad all the live long day. Javier couldn't believe how rough and tough Billy was. But this wasn't Javier's first rodeo. He had a few things of his own to show Billy, like how he could wrestle a bear, catch a fish with his bare hands, and chop down a tree in no time flat. Billy had never seen such grit, except when he was looking in the mirror. He intended to prove that he was the true hero and Javier was just his sidekick. He challenged Javier to a duel, but Javier disarmed Billy and forced him to walk the plank. Then Billy put on a magic show and turned one cookie into two. But Javier, he made both cookies disappear. Billy tried to best Javier at math, art, aviation, running for president. And for the final showdown, a motorcycle race. As they rounded the curve, Billy was ahead by a hair. But Javier won by a whisker. That really chapped Billy's heart. His mustache began to grow and curl up at the ends until he had a bad guy moustache. He turned into a mad bandit, robbing Javier of his most prized possession. That infuriated Javier. Nobody stole his hog and got away with it. His beard grew pointier and pointier until he had a bad guy beard. Javier chased Billy into a wrestling ring and became the masked luchador Barba Nino, a.k.a. Beard Baby. Billy faced him as pro wrestler Mustache Baby. The crowd couldn't wait for the match to begin. Mustache Baby dodged Beard Baby's high-flying maneuver. But... Just as Moustache Baby was ready to pin Beard Baby, the melee was broken up. The wrestlers were sent to separate corners of the ring. Billy was sweaty and sad. He had wanted Javier as a sidekick. Instead, he had become a bitter rival. There, there, his mother said. Lots of friends wrestle with competitiveness. But sometimes the most important race is being the first to say you're sorry. Billy knew he could win that race. He raced toward his friend, but Javier met him halfway. And instead of being Billy's sidekick, Javier became his partner. And sometimes his partner in crime.
Thanks for listening. Did this story turn your little monster into a happy little monster? Hit subscribe or go to happymonsterspod.com to show listener support, submit story requests, and see upcoming episodes. If you're a children's book author, check out the author's corner to have your book considered for an episode. See you next time.